I found my favorite tree in the whole world. It's a kissable tree. The Bodark, Osage Orange, Hedge Apple. This is a mighty fine specimen. Look at it, majestic beauty. She's glorious, splendid, regal in elegance. The golden wood of insatiable wonder. Consider something for a moment. It said Moshe had a very particular rod in his hand when he delivered Yisrael from all of Mitzrayim's power, Egypt's power. He delivered them by the mighty right hand of Yahuwah. And in that hand, he sent him forth to go do signs and wonders. And it was through the rod of Elohim, the rod of Yahuwah. It's like a short staff, y'all. He had to make an ark of acacia wood. This is the acacia tree. Hold on a second. Let me clean you off. There you go. A little less glowy. It was an ark of acacia tree. Acacias have thorns. Like this hedge apple. See those? Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's a thorn. Mm-hmm. Look, there's another one. There you go. Look at those bad boys. Now, this acacia tree is not like the others because it has golden wood. And I just marvel at it. Just look at this splendid thing. It grows in the most wild, obtuse places. Out there, modern man has civilized things with a brush hog. Hogs, abominations. Consider dietary laws being some of the first instructions ever given. What you eat matters. Check this out. This tree, even though it looks like it's dead, like this branch that died off, it is still immeasurably strong. Even after it died off a long time ago, it is one of the strongest, hardest woods, period. And it's basically incorruptible. It does not perish. Just like the Ark of the Covenant which did not perish and was made from acacia wood. The crown of many thorns came from an acacia tree. You betcha. My conjecture is it came from the exact seed of the tree that Moshe used to build the Ark of the Covenant with. Because Yahuwah is all about these ridiculously epic stories. Stories that take so long to tell, most people have died. And then their children's 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 children died before hearing the end of the story. You are one of those people who heard the stories of Yahuwah and of his great deliverance and his salvation, Yeshua, to the nations. If you have heard those stories, welcome to the kingdom warfare, son. Now you get to contend against the radical intelligent evil that is stalking mankind day and night. And the way we wage our wars is with trees. This is how the kingdom of Yahuwah suffers violence and violent men take it by force. We advance the kingdom of Yahuwah and wage a ferocious war for the souls of men. And we do it with creation because heavens and the earth shouted out a witness when we swore our allegiance to Yahuwah, when we said, this we shall do at Sinai. And if you're a child by blood or belief who clings to Yahuwah and walks in his incredibly miraculous, empowering son's ways, you likewise will get the words of the covenant and all that comes with it and the heavens and the earth begin to serve you. And that's your words, empowered by the Ruach, the set apart spirit, the Holy Spirit. He gives you life. And when you walk, his kingdom goes because you're commissioned to be an ambassador on this kingdom, which means you walk with every bit of authority he had on the earth. And when his son walked around, the earth physically responded instantly. It said he could turn stones into bread if he wanted. And you know what? He rained manna, the bread of Gibberim, the bread of angels, the mighty bread of the Shemaim, came down in desert places and fed his people. He caused flint, flint rock to split open and gush forth water. And he made thorny trees to provide the deliverance of his people. Consider strongly 
how powerful the witnesses are that are in that Ark of Acacia. And they're still crying out day and night and the earth is hiding, hiding them inside her, waiting for the day where Yahuwah reveals his commandments, reveals his golden Ark again. And the throne of Yahuwah will be with men. Yeshua really is gonna sit on the mercy seat. He's gonna sit on that throne and over the Ark of Acacia once again. And I long for you and everyone you know to be there because Yahuwah was not willing that any should die, but that all should come to know him and to walk in his ways. So come and see the one who delivers. Come and see the one who provides faithful witnesses in the heavens above us, faithful timepieces ever going forth, proclaiming to the nations, as long as the heavens declare the glory of Yahuwah and the sun rises and sets, we know his Torah, his loving instructions are faithful and true. And Yahshua came and said, not any single minute, even single letter of the Torah would pass away, nor the heavens and the earth pass away until every word of it is finished. Hang in there all the way to the end because it's an endurance race. Fight ferociously because you were made to live and battle with creation on our side and Yahuwah raising up deliverers from amongst us.